So this is my clumsy version of the Antikythera mechanism. It basically does most of what the Antikythera mechanism does, except it doesn't deal with the planets. You turn this handle, and 80 turns equals one meton, 19 solar years, which would be 255 dracontic months, that's this pointer here, 252 anomalistic months, that's this pointer, and 235 synodic months. This is the indicator that shows whether it's a new moon or a full moon or waxing or waning. A noisy mechanism. On the reverse side, you can see the Earth in the center, this is a geocentric system. Moon and the sun. This is a mechanism down here for measuring 47 synodic months. It's not working at the moment and needs some redesign. And also you can see the sidereal months, 254 of which are in one meton. It takes one sidereal month for the moon to circle the Earth. So one of the easy things you can do with cogs is divide or multiply. So if you have two cogs the same size, then they would both go around at the same speed. If one had twice as many teeth as the other, then depending which way it goes, it would be twice as fast or half the speed, depending which is the driver and which is the driven. The problem with this is you can't plus or minus and so you are left with prime numbers. So as you can see here there are 254 side reel months in a meton. That's divisible by 2 down to 127, but 127 is a prime number. And so therefore, you would need a cog with 127 teeth. Now this one here, which is the biggest one in the mechanism, has 47. So you can see that the whole machine would get hugely unwieldy if you had to have 127. So the Greeks got around this by having epicyclic gears. I've done it with planetary gears. They look different, but basically serve the same purpose. And there you can see the moon and the sun going around the Earth. stop the mechanism on a full moon and as we go around and have a look we'll see that the sun and the moon are in line in opposition either side of the earth however there will not be an eclipse because they are not within the eclipse limits as indicated by the teeth on the nodal disc to the new moon and have the moon and the sun on the same side and they are within the eclipse limits there will be an eclipse in this case a solar eclipse you can only have an eclipse either at full moon or new moon